with our last part of episode 12 of Geeks mm -hmm. Like Us. Yep. What do you guys want to talk about now? Uh, well, we got either Runaways uh, Young Avengers first or No Hero. Secret Invasion, Runaways Young Avengers number one of three mm -hmm. Marvel Comics. What do you guys think? Everything I've read with the Runaways or the Young Avengers has pretty well been the two lumped into one comic. It's been that way since... And, well, the only stuff I've really read with them was House Civil of M. War. Yeah. I think House of M started it. Yeah. So, which leads me to believe that neither the Runaways nor the Young Avengers have enough clout to get a comic of their own. Yeah, they There's do. not enough punch. Well, they do. They both had their own comics, and Runaways is getting another one. Yeah, say, and from what I know from a couple friends of mine, Runaways is amazing. But See, I've read some of the Runaways stuff, and it hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been anything where I've been like, oh my god, you ha you have to put me down for the whole run. Like, I'm... Did I even get this one? I don't think I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. Just... I mean, yes, it's in your box right now. Well, I mean, as we speak. Look... <laughs> Just from what I've read about the Runaways and Younger Avengers, didn't seem like anything I was going to care about. Now, having read the other Secret Invasion stuff I picked up, it was nice to read this and you know see what they're what's going on with them and everything. It's kind of already been covered in other comics. I think the reason they're always lumped together is because they're both uh, teenager-based groups, yeah. and it's writers teenagers. don't know how to write two teenage groups separately, so they lump them together. Fine. And also, they happen to be within blocks of each other in this comic. Yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah. my big problem with this was the artwork. Yeah, the artwork. It was. Mm. It didn't follow the style of either the Young Avengers books mm -hmm. or the Runaways books, and it was hard to Very really cartoony. tell. It was hard to really tell who was who, and like some of the characters who was that male, I who was female. Some of the characters that you know. I look at the old comics, and I can recognize from this one to this one to this one. This is this character. I recognize the character now. They put it in here, and I'm like, is that? Oh, man, for like the first two panels when he was in the background, I thought that was a chick. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> um, the robot guy. That I can't remember his name right now. Vic? Yeah, Victor. Yeah. yeah. And, just, and, and, you know, you pointed that out to me when you read the book. I read the book after he did, and as I was reading, I still didn't realize that that was a guy until about... A third of the way through the I book, mean, and I'm going, "Oh, that's who that was." There's some that's a guy. There's some it's of not them a that are ball. very obvious. Like, I didn't mistake Hulkling because he was a <laughs> blonde guy with a whole bunch of earrings, and I mean, there are certain little identifying things that you're know, like, "Okay, well, that has to be this person. This has to be this person." But there's several of them that just kind of got lost in the mix. I mean, if you sat down with a full picture, you go, "Okay, this is this person, and this is this, and this is this." So this would, by default, have to be this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the team now. But just the artwork, I mean... I don't think it was bad artwork. It just no, wasn't... Just it, it was it, solid. It, it just wasn't, wasn't what we're used to for these yeah. characters, so it was hard to identify them. But that I, The art was, yeah, the art was very okay. The story was okay. Nothing I really cared about. However, I didn't know that Hulkling was a scroll. Half. Well, yeah, but I didn't half know that at all. Scroll, I thought that was three, kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. I, had no, I thought he was like, you know, just some other gamma experiment or something. Okay, we'll learn you. Oh, I don't care enough about the Marvel <laughs> Universe to know that, but well, I just he, thought it was cool. Did you know he's also gay? All right. Yeah. And him and Wiccan, but you don't know who Wiccan is because I don't no. know. I don't think they've ever, ever mentioned his name in this comic. Wow, Marvel having a gay character too, mm. or more. I could have sworn Marvel had lots of gay characters. Wow, DC having a gay. And you're not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah, I said it. Wow. Anywho, <clears throat> hey, at least most of the Marvel Universe has learned to put their underwear on the inside now. Hey, if you had a package like his, you're going to run the outside, too. Package of red underwear? I, yeah. I haven't seen anybody about, in yeah. the Marvel Universe why, as a why, why would I say anything else? Shut up. I haven't oh. seen anybody in the Marvel Universe get a preteen boy to run around in scaly green underpants. If you're rich, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. He's not really a young boy. He's a teenager. He's not a You know, boy I've been anymore. rooting for you to win the lottery, but now <laughs> maybe not so much. <laughs> you are no hero to me. Speaking of no hero, no hero. When he wins the lottery, he's going to make you run around. And <laughs> oh, that's what has right. I got to shave my. I got to shave all the two hairs off my legs. Yes, you know what you're saying. Yeah, yep. no. You yep. started to say you shave. Don't lie. Yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, I can't lift my leg high enough. Too uh, short. Anyway, no hero. Yes, no, no hero. hero. Uh, by Warren Ellis. Yes. Jose Juan. If Juan Jose Rip. If J.R.R. Tolkien was an artist, he would have drawn this book. <laughs> this <laughs> wow. Is, what? This is true. That's true. There is so much detail in this artwork that it makes you go, 
I wanted to end the first page, I think it was. Oh, my God. There, there's a very, very busy panel, and it's it feels odd to say this, and I hope Mike can get a shot of this for the review, but this very busy panel, except that all that's in the panel is you have a little word box and a wall with a TV. But I swear to God, this guy drew every grain of wood on that wood panel wall and floor, and later, he's, he's the type that draws every hair on their head. Uh, but you see, what I find there's amazing... There's a brick wall outside. Every single brick is detailed. What I find amazing is month after month after month, this guy can put out this quality artwork. I mean, he can put this amount of detail, and yet some of the other guys, like uh, Hulk, can't come out for three months because the art's not done. Come on. Give I me mean, a break. Don't get, don't get me wrong. This guy, he's incredibly talented. Yeah, and very he, talented. Just like I, Tolkien. I very imagine talented. he is one of those people <laughs> that we look at this and we're like, oh my god, how long did this guy spend on this? I'm almost betting he's one of these guys that just sits down and he's like, da -da 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 -da. there you go, it's done. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Well, yeah, I'll it's just, it's <laughs> just that some of the art, too much detail, just like in Tolkien, sometimes takes away from the story, is a little distracting, because I don't care how long a blade of grass is. But see, if you read oh. it like I do, take, take your glasses off, cross your eyes, whatever, <laughs> just read the words. No, the, the story wasn't bad. The it's story, just the art was... Oh. I actually found the story really interesting. The, the story interesting. was kind of yeah. interesting, yeah. It's, it's, it's Superheroes based off drugs. The, th yeah. the thing that they have in there in the back, which I don't know if everybody all the text. of you read it, but <laughs> all the... Just a page of you know them talking with a couple pictures here and there. It just basically is like, how far would you go to be a superhero? What would you do if it meant you had to take a drug? If it meant you had to kill a man. expose yourself to this? If you had to kill somebody? If you had to stand over their corpse knowing, I killed him, but now I'm a hero? Maybe. I mean, it depends on how or, you look at or it. Or I have or power. A villain. I have power. If you want to look at it from the hero side of you, is that one person's life worth all the other lives you will potentially save? Is the price that's paid worth it? And that this no hero thing, you basically have a bunch of juiced up regular Joes, and it's not something where, oh, I take, I, you know, I get my fix, I got my superpowers, no, not. and now I'm done. No, this no. thing screws you up permanently. <laughs> You're not life. ever good ever again. They get ever addicted, again. and yeah. I, I don't know. It was it was a very interesting story. I liked I liked how, um, depending on the time period that the team came together, their outfits were very different. How they evolved. Yes, mm -hmm. their costumes very much represented the time period they were in. You know, I thought it was really cool. Um, but just a little too much detail in the art. It's, oh, man. The guy's an amazing artist. He's a great man, artist, it's, but mm -hmm. it's distracting Holy as hell. Yeah, chances are these pictures that will be scrolling through here will not do it justice because they'll be compressed all the heck. Yeah, just... But, uh, yeah, take a wow. look at the comic on your retailer's shelf. Yeah. Look at the artwork, and your jaw will, see what will drop. Yeah. Yes. Screw it. I'm scanning them in a like. 2,000 DPI. <laughs> if you give me one page, I will scan it in 2,000 DPI. For review purposes only. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, definitely worth definitely worth picking up. And I'll delete it. Yeah, it's it very good. Actually, it for me, a, it was another oh. one dollar comic. Yeah. In Avatar, I've read some Avatar press stuff before, and a lot of it, I just like. Oh, this yeah, is a lot cool. of it's weird like, and vertical. But this was cool. This was, this was actually really good. So. Kudos to, kudos to Avatar. No well, that's it. We're out of time for this week, guys. We'll be back next week with uh, Lucky Episode Number 13. Woo! -hoo! As always, Chaz, you want to take us out? No? Visit us on YouTube. <laughs> Hobbies. Yeah, he cut you off, MySpace. <laughs> Leave us comments. If you want Chaz to, to send us out next time, let us know. We threw down the gauntlet for Colbert. Colbert! Spread the word!